In this video, we're going to go over how to make modifications to orders, typically from the website, but they can also be manual orders and to issue refunds or to add some additional products or, or change some products. So we'll go through a couple of different scenarios, but the first main one is a customer orders something and they call in or email in and say, hey, I, I just want to full out cancel my order or do a partial refund of that order. So the process is more or less the same um, in that you're going to go through to cancel or to reduce a quantity of an item. You're just going to come in and find the quantity. So you'll see this customer ordered this office chair. They ordered just a single unit and then it has a delivery line, in this case, free delivery. So you can see we haven't delivered anything at this point, um, uh, but because it went through the website, it automatically invoiced it. So at this point, all, all we're going to do is we're going to come in here and I'm just going to come in and set this to zero. And I, I don't need to per se, unless I want to show it or if I actually charge freight, but I'm going to come in here and set the delivery quantity order to zero uh, because I want to go ahead and issue a full refund to this customer for this order. So I'm going to zero everything out and show that this order is more or less zeroed. And then I could come in here and just cr click on the create invoice. It's going to ask me what I want to do. It's a little bit like, Hey, do you want to do a down payment because the quantities are the everything zero in this case i don't want to do a down payment i'm just going to do what we call a regular invoice even though it says create invoice the system will detect that it, it actually needs a credit note because we're reducing the quantity and from here i'm just going to click on create and view invoice and it's going to create this bottom one here that's a draft invoice and you'll see um, that it's a negative 138 and it's actually a draft credit note so from here, I can just verify everything, make sure it looks correct. You could technically make modifications at this point if you really had to, um, but most of the information should pull directly from the sales order. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and just confirm this invoice. And now that it's confirmed, there is my, or I should say credit note. I've got my credit notes confirmed and this issues the return in the system. And from here, the last step is if I if they paid by credit card and I need to issue them their funds back, I can come in here and click on payment transaction. This should link to the original transaction from the original order. And I can click on create refund. I'm gonna do a full amount. Um, if you were doing a partial, you could select a partial amount and put it in there. But in this case, we're doing a full amount. So now all I need to do is click on process refund. So that's it. We're gonna process the refund and now, if I go back to my invoice using the, the breadcrumbs up here, you can see it says, hey, you have an outstanding debit or credit that you can add. And here is my refund. And I can go ahead and add that refund and mark this credit note at, in essence is paid or refunded back to the customer. So that's kind of the process to issue a full refund. If we go back to the sales order, you'll see now that every, nothing's blue, uh, everything's zeroed out. And this in essence is completely canceled. If you haven't delivered anything, then uh, the, if you're doing a full cancel, I'm like, hey, I'm just wiping this out. I do recommend coming in here and clicking the cancel button, which will, um, you can send an email to the customer saying that, hey, their order was canceled. In this case, I don't really care about that. So I'm gonna say, just cancel it, don't send the email. But by clicking and actually, actually canceling the order, it will also make sure to go through now it canceled this delivery order. So that's kind of the first for, or the process for doing just full order cancellations, but the process is pretty much the same for doing order modifications. So I could come in here and pick maybe a different, you know, any other sales order in the system. Say I've got this one um, and the customer wants to exchange some products. So maybe they ordered the wrong item and they ordered this desk, but instead like, hey, actually, can I swap it to this item? And there's obviously a discrepancy in dollars. So we haven't shipped anything. And you can see that because they ordered on the website, this is their order confirmation. This automatically got invoiced, but this one didn't. So we're gonna do a very similar process. We're gonna come in here and say, hey, they don't want this customizable desk anymore. So we're gonna set that to zero. Um, and then we're gonna add this product or we can add some additional product. I come in here and say they, they want, um, you know, this backdoor bear. And it's $10, right? So now you go through and add as many items as you want. And then the next step is we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna come up here and we're gonna click on our, our, our I'm gonna do a manual save and then it'll go this create invoice. We're gonna do a regular invoice, create and view. 
And it's going to do the exact same thing. But in this case, we zeroed out this item. So that's the item that we're no longer using. So we're going to do a return on that. And then we're going to add this item and add this item. You'll notice these are at negative ones and negative quantity and uh, negative amounts. Don't let that, um, you know, screw you up. It, 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 this is a credit note. So it's in essence in the reverse of an invoice. So those are correct. That's what you're looking for. And this is our total. Um, and then a little bit of a refund on the tax or, or charge on the tax and or re, yeah, it is refund and that's your, your subtotal. So I'm just going to go down here. I'm just going to do a quick copy that amount and go ahead and confirm my invoice. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to jump over here to my payment transaction. In this case, you'll see there was a couple attempts. So they must have, this one says canceled. This one was confirmed. So they probably had some things, maybe they had an issue on the website trying to check out or whatnot. Um, so make sure to grab the actual, the correct payment. We can grab this one, do a refund. And this is where we want to do a partial, pop in that partial amount that we're, we're going to do a refund and say process refund. Go back to our credit note and we can apply that refund. So the other thing I'll, I'll show you on this is now we're going to go back to the sales order. So now everything's um, been updated. This is completely zeroed out and all the items that they wanted are added to it and fully invoiced and there's no more blue lines so there's nothing to be invoiced and the part i wanted to show you is it does automatically also update the delivery in this case so if we go to the delivery order you'll see that the customizable desk was reset to zero hey they don't want this anymore but they did add this and they added this so the delivery order has automatically been updated based on our changes from the sales order and we have processed our, our credit note and issued them a refund. Um, on a side note, if, you, if they paid by cash or check or some other method, or it was beyond the refund allocation, um, some, some credit cards, you can only refund up to like 30 to, to 90 days. So if it was an old, old transaction, um, you can also at this point, if, if we don't do the refund through the credit card, you can still do register a payment here pick your account and your payment method and say, if you want to write a check, you come in here and say, hey, we need to send this person a check. You can create the payment and come down and it will attach that payment. And then in the accounting side, it will have a pending check to print and ship or, or print and mail. So you can actually physically mail them a check. So that's, that's the process of doing modifications. Just update the sales order so that the sales order matches what the customer wants or what they're doing. And then from there, you can click on the create invoice um, and follow through with with processing a credit note and or a, um, you know, a, a payment or a check or some type of refund to the customer if, if they're owed that.